You've been named the crew's chief medical officer. That sounds like a pretty important role. How will you train and get ready for that? So I'll work really closely with our flight surgeon. Um, and I have emergency experience. I worked in the emergency department for three and a half years before I got my job at St. Jude. And so it'll just refreshing some skills and then just becoming really aware with the resources that we have on board. And what other training will you do? Can you share with us anything? So it all starts later this month. I am so excited. And the first thing that we're going to do is centrifuge training. Um, basically, we're going to we're going to be in this machine that goes around really, really fast, like those amusement park rides. And um, and then we're going to get to our bodies used to feeling G forces. And then um, we're going to go through a lot of simulator training and. Um, we're actually going to learn some orbital mechanics, like some rocket science behind all this and, um, and spend some time in our, in our flight suits, but just getting us ready for any possible situation. They're going to make sure that we're really well prepared. So once you get to space and you're in orbit, what will you be doing? So um, we are going to do some research studies then like some projects, but the details are still being worked out. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and crew We'll get to spend some time floating around and looking at the Earth. But what I'm looking forward to the most is um, video chatting with the St. Jude kids. We're still, we're still working that out, but I just think it's, it's going to be incredible to actually be able to show these kids what their future can look like. So you are clearly excited, but you're not nervous at all? Right now, and uh, you know, I think it's because I've gone to SpaceX three times. I have met all the lead engineers and they really know what they're doing. They have an incredible safety record. And, um, you know, I, I think I'm gonna have some butterflies on launch day. Um, but at this point, I'm just really excited. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.